What's the matter, honey? You don't recognize your sister, Aubrey? Yeah, no, uh, to be honest, it's just still a little shocking, you know, since the upgrades. Uh... Hey, how's it going? Uh, what's the occasion, sis? Do I need an excuse to come see my older brother? Aren't you going to introduce us, older brother? Yeah, uh, Aubrey, this is... Aubrey, this is Christine, my girlfriend. Christine, this is my sister, Aubrey. And who's this? That's Morris. He's for you. So, what made you change your mind? Well, I realized you were right. It's not safe having a gun in the house. Not with Shane's history. Or yours, considering how you feel about Jack Manning. I couldn't shoot a kid, no matter how much of a psycho he is. Just like I couldn't shoot his father. Of course not. I'm glad you finally believe me. So? No bandages, no Mars. You'll find him. Look, I, I want to go check in on Shane, see how his first day of school went. Tell him I love him. I will. That was close. Not that I blame him. I would have shot Victor Lord myself if I'd been given half a chance. Get in line, sister. I just don't want him to think that I don't believe him. Or worse, that you and I screwed up so royally. And that that gun, the one that could link him to the murder, is out there floating around somewhere. What? I got an idea. Watch my stuff. The night of the murder, you put an APB out on Todd Manning. The real Todd Manning. Why? You want coffee? Okay. Victor said Blair was worried. About Todd? Was she thinking maybe he would do something? That's what it sounds like. You think Todd Manning killed his own brother? We're looking for him in connection with a missing gun. So obviously he had opportunity and he had motive, but now a gun's missing and uh, until we find it, we don't have enough to hold him. But you haven't ruled him out either. I wish that message told us more. Yeah. It's good, though. I'm going to need to hang on to your phone for a couple days. That's no problem, but you got to do me a favor. Hmm. Don't look at the photos. Me and Viv found a lagoon in the trees, and let's just say... We had our birthday suits on. Ugh. Say no more. All right, I, they're safe with me, all right? Hey, thank you, uh, thank you for coming down. Thanks for, thanks for bringing me this. I want this guy caught. Yeah, me too. Hey, you still have your offices down at the waterfront? Yeah. You know, uh, you know, Louie, homeless guy hangs out at the docks? Yeah, everybody knows Louie. Why? You don't think Louis shot no, Victor Lord? No, no, but Manning says he gave Louis the gun. All right, now Louis disappeared. That gun could clear Manning. Or sink him. I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, my man. All right, let's see you. I know it sounds convenient that Dad would just give his gun away to some guy, but the truth is, is that he would never hit you. What are you talking about? He hit me at Dad's office. But that's because he thought you were... Yeah? No, go ahead, say it. Because he thought I was dad. He only hit me because he was trying to get back at dad. No, he, he wanted his life back. He wasn't look, trying to look, hurt anyone. Star, I know you keep saying that I was too young to remember, too young to know the real Todd Manning, that he's this great guy who totally understood you. Maybe he was. But he spent eight years locked in a cell, drugged and tortured. Who knows what kind of man he is now? Once you start messing with his brain, he blamed Dad for everything. He wanted him dead, and he got his wish. Makes sense, Jack's not in school. His dad just died. Yeah, I know. Did you find out who did it yet? No, we're still investigating. What? Well, you know how I feel about Jack. 
He made my life miserable last year. He killed my mom and got away with it. You have every right to be angry with him. I am. I was. But no one should have to lose their father. Or his mother. I know. It's just... I thought that it would make me feel better if something terrible happened to Jack, but it didn't. What are you saying? Can I talk to you about something? Look, you had plenty of reasons to resent our dad even before Victor was shot. All I'm asking you to do is to just not jump to conclusions. Let the police investigate. The police? Are you serious? They hated dad. John McBain is an honest cop and you know that. Why do you think Victor called him McPain? The police will find out who did this, I promise. I know who did this. It was Scarface. No, you're hurt right now. And you want to feel like you're doing something by finding out who killed Victor. But it won't bring him back. I know how much you loved him and relied on him. He bailed you out more than once, probably when he shouldn't have. And you trusted him, and it feels horrible without him. I feel the same exact way. Don't give me that. I loved it. He was my father, too, Jack. For eight years, I loved him. I wouldn't have put up with what he did to Cole and me. I, I would have told him to go to hell. But you can't solve this. You have to let yourself grieve. And think about giving Dad a chance. You're going to need a father now that Victor is gone. And you're lucky that you have one. I I'm not giving Scarface a chance. He killed my father. What if you're wrong? I'm not. You don't have any proof. Neither do you. Is this a good time? She'll come in. It's fine. I wanted to pay my respects to your family. And my mother, she wouldn't let me come empty-handed. What is it? Enchilada casserole. It sounds great. Tell your mother that we said thank you. There's nothing like good comfort food. You got that right. And about your dad, I mean your uncle. I worked with him a long time. He was a tough boss, but he was fair. And he paid me well. And he sure did love you kids. Thank you. And you should know that Lieutenant McBain is working around the clock. He's gonna find whoever did this. Oh, we know who did this. Um, sorry. No, I'm sorry, but he's just angry. Understood. I just wish that voicemail I gave the lieutenant could be more helpful. A voicemail? Victor Lord was leaving me a message when he was shot. I got the whole thing on my phone. You can always talk to me. You know that. What's going on? Oh, Shane. Hey. Uh, hey. How was school? It was fine. Good. You're not, you're not just saying that. It's like, it's not too late. I can call no, him and have him move somewhere. Really? It, it was okay. Okay. Good. I'm glad. I want to hear all about it. But first, uh, your grandmothers, both of them, they wanted me to tell you that they say hi and that they love you and that they're pulling for you. They're both kind of nutty, but I think. You should say they're both at this flea market freaking out over this porcupine. Morris, I knew it. You know Morris? You know the porcupine on Roxy's desk? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, so did Roxy. Now she's losing it because somebody bought him and she's desperate to get him back. I know who has him. You do? You don't like him? I thought he'd, you know, like, perk up the room. Fake porcupine? You want a real one? Oh, I gotta take this. Um, it's about a job. You guys, catch up. Sexy. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, Johnny. Oh, thank God you're here. I got a report of theft. Somebody stole my porcupine. I need you to put an IUD out on him. How was I supposed to know your girlfriend would be here? I don't know. Maybe a phone Look, call? Look, I need to talk to you. It's important, okay? No, no. I don't want you anywhere near Christine. All right? She's already asking questions about Joey and Clint, and if she starts digging deeper and finds out what really happened to Spotted Pony, we can't take that risk. Oh, 
busy right now. I'm working a murder investigation. Right yeah, now. I understand that, but this is really important. Okay, somebody took Mars from the flea market. They kidnapped him. And when you find him, which I know you will, do me a favor. Just don't look inside. I'm afraid to ask. Why not? <laughs>